Hey everybody, HP here, Healthy Prepper. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you some seeds that I was very fortunate enough to come across at a yard sale of all places. This was last year. Excuse me, pup. <clears throat> Help. <laughs> and uh, this wonderful gentleman had this big basket of seeds for sale. And I think he had 10 or 12 packs for a dollar. And I was so excited. Little did he know he had a prepper in his midst. And I'm thinking, hmm, how many packs of 10 are in this big basket? So I said, it looked like about 10 to me, about 100 packs of seeds or so. So I said, well, you know, would you take 10 bucks for the whole thing? And he said, nope, absolutely not, ma'am. Everybody's been asking me that all day. And you got to count them out. If you want them, you can count them out and you can buy them. But there's no bulk buying here. With You can't buy the whole lot. Uh, and uh, I thought, well, okay, you know, I'm, I'm easy going. I will uh, abide by his rules at, at his garage sale. So I picked out a bunch that I thought I would like, and gosh, he had everything under the sun. I tried to get a good variety, but there's everything from peppers and tomatoes and pumpkins and uh, cucumbers, watermelon, cabbage, uh, cantaloupe. I mean, you can see the pictures. But uh, so I'm getting more excited as I'm picking these out and pulling them out. Uh, so I bought as many as I could pick up that day, and uh, the next weekend, I just happened to be back over in that area, and lo and behold, he was out there again, and he had his basket of seeds. So this time, uh, I was a little more determined, and I thought, I'm going to make this guy another bulk offer. See if he's, he's been sitting out here two weekends in a row, he's got to be ready to unload these pups. Well, nope. <laughs> Yours truly had the joy of counting out her packs again. And uh, so not only, this was my first weekend's haul, this amount here, which I thought were pretty good. But then the next weekend, and plus some extras I haven't even organized yet. Some, the weekend after that, I got all these as well. So I pretty much cleared them out. Um, Probably had a few other competitors in between, but overall it was a very good haul. These up here at the top that I have vacuum sealed, uh, wanted to get your take on this. Um, these I did buy previously. I haven't bought any heirlooms, um, basically for one reason, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, yes, I absolutely love heirloom uh, foods, vegetables and fruits. I think they're the best. They taste better. They're healthier for us, non-GMO, all that. I love them, but when you're a gardener like me who's you know, not blessed with a green thumb, I really need seeds that are going to withstand pests, heat, drought, um, all sorts of bad conditions, and me. They have to survive the growing care of me. And I understand that heirlooms are very, they can be very sensitive to different conditions. Um, so I took a chance, rolled the dice, and I'm going with the regular seeds. And, uh, you know, bless you all who are going with the heirlooms. I wish you much luck. Um, and uh, as long, you know, I think if things are that bad and times are that tough, I'll be happy to have any vegetable in front of me. And I know in my heart that there are those of you out there who will carry on the heirloom tradition, and you are much better gardeners than I. I tip my hat to all of you. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I had a couple thoughts on how to store these seeds. And... Uh, I have tried vacuum sealing. This is a failed vacuum seal bag, by the way. See how it lost its vacuum. Um, but anyway, and my thought was to vacuum seal them because I was thinking about how you hear the stories back in ancient e Egypt in the tombs, they would pull out seeds. And uh, I'm thinking these seeds might have been uh, away from oxygen for a while. Maybe they were in, in actual uh, containers of some sort. I could be right or wrong about that. I'm not sure. But uh, so I did vacuum seal some of them, thinking that might extend their life. And uh, some of these seeds are a little bit older. I think they're expired 2010, and I know that does reduce the amount that will actually grow. But again, here, um, anytime a seed comes into my hands, it is risking its own life anyway. So <laughs> um, just love to hear your thoughts on should we vacuum seal or not vacuum seal your seeds and you know, how do you pre prevent deterioration from heat and humidity on your seed bank? So I'm guessing probably a cool dark storage place and uh, dry. But if you have any tips, please, please share them. 
Anyway, there you go, folks. I just wanted to uh, show you the little mini seed bank I have here stored up just in case um, we get uh, into an apocalyptic pinch. We don't know what to do. We'll be planting seeds. Take care, everyone. Healthy Prepper.